I was just sitting here talking to you guys and I realized I wasn't recording. Whoops. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. We are back with a little vloggy vlog. It's the holidays. I actually decorated my house just a little bit this year, nothing crazy. And for the first time ever, I have purchased a Christmas tree. Yes, yes. Last year I went on the hunt for a Christmas tree and apparently there was some mass shortage because the trees were like $500 and they were hideous. But that's about to be an adventure. After my breakfast, I'm decorating the tree. I got a lot of decor. I'm a little bit nervous. It's a big undertaking, but I'm excited. But I am glad to have you guys back. I have been really trying to commit to one vlog a week and I fell short last week and I do apologize. Black Friday week was just crazy with the brands and stuff. So I was like, <laughs> so last week I just chilled out, but I'm back this week with a vlog. I don't know what we're doing today, but I'm gonna hurry up and eat my breakfast so we can get to the tree decorating. This has been my breakfast every morning for weeks and it's been hitting the spot. It is a gluten-free bagel with two eggs, cheese, and turkey bacon. I'm not 100% gluten-free, not claiming it, but I realized that eating gluten makes me really tired, like unreasonably tired, specifically like white, like a, there's something in a Kaiser roll that as soon as I eat it, and I'm not talking, I get like a little bit sluggish. I remember when I used to go into the office, I would eat an egg and cheese on a Kaiser roll and immediately at my desk, I'd be like, fighting to stay awake. So I try to stay away from it. When you eat something, it's supposed to give you energy. It's definitely not supposed to make you fall asleep. I'm not gonna lie, the, glu the gluten-free bagels are okay. They're definitely not as good as regular bagels, but especially eating something in the morning, I'd rather not eat and then immediately feel tired and sluggish. But yeah, that was my little mini rant about why I'm eating gluten-free bagels. Don't get me wrong. I still love me a good bagel, a good roll, a good garlic bread every once in a while, but eating it on the daily, not the best choice for me. So I'm back on my protein iced coffee. I took a while off it and I don't know why because this is so good. I do try to get in at least one protein shake a day and I drink iced coffee every morning. So I was like, oh, why not just add the protein powder to iced coffee? Two birds, one stone. And genuinely it tastes delicious. I typically do like a chocolate whey, but I have the chocolate caramel whey from EHP Labs. Delicious. No other way to explain it except it literally tastes like a candy that has chocolate and caramel on the inside. You get both of those notes and it's delicious. Honestly, you only really need iced coffee and a protein powder and that tastes good, but I like to top it off with a little bit of milk just to give it a little pizzazz. But this is my favorite way to consume protein. It's genuinely delicious. And the EHP Labs formula blends so seamlessly. There's nothing that makes my skin crawl like protein clumps. Y'all know, know what I'm talking about. Like when you drink protein and you just get a clump. <laughs> None of that. It's completely smooth. It breaks down so easily and I love it. But I'm going to hurry up and eat and get to the tree decorating. I'm so excited. Do it for the gram. It's a brother. We've hit a minor block in the road. I really wanted my tree right here so you can see it from outside, but this outlet doesn't work, which is news to me. And the plug won't reach the outlet next to it, so I need an extension cord. So I'm about to sprint to Home Depot or Lowe's to get me an extension cord. I'll be right back. We're here on the iPhone camera with my bestie buffers. Hello. Okay. If you guys don't know, Home Depot and Lowe's are pet friendly. So I like to bring her in and socialize her a little bit and just have some fun. But we're just gonna go in and out, get an extension cord. Are you gonna say hi to the people? Okay, okay. Sit. Yes, good girl.
Christmas tree is up. Really tried to get a good like picture for you guys, but because it was front of the window, it just looks super washed out. And then on camera, you just can't, you can't really see it. I'm kind of happy with it. It just looks very, I think it's missing something. I don't have a tree topper on it, so that's important, but it's missing something. I think because all of the shades of pink are very pale and the tree is white, it just looks kind of washed out. I still think it's pretty, but I think I'm missing a little something, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect this year, but I'm about to meal prep. I've been making the same thing for weeks and I've been in love with it. Wait, I don't think I showed you guys my mini lasagnas. Yeah, I'm making my mini lasagnas this week and then I just make a ground turkey vegetable mix and I put it over mashed potatoes. Both of them are delicious. They hit the spot and I look forward to eating them, which is the most important thing with meal prep. I just, back when I used to like cut and be like super strict with myself when I was losing weight, I would follow what like bodybuilders were doing, but most of us are not bodybuilders. Like we're not trying to be 5% body fat. People that are competing and trying to get as lean as possible to get those physiques, it is important for them to be very strict to get to those goals. But the average Joe, it's important to enjoy food. So like years ago, I wouldn't really add any sauces or seasonings. I would limit things like cheese, but now fast forward, I think it's more important to just cook something that is healthy, that may be a little bit higher in calories than, you know, a typical. So like, for example, years ago, making a mini lasagna, I would have thought that it was too high in calories because I would add, you know, ricotta cheese and a little bit of mozzarella. But now in my current life, even though it's a little bit higher in calories, it's still a better meal choice for me. Cause like I told you guys, I don't like cooking during the week. So when I'm hungry and I need something to eat, I'm door dashing or I'm going out to pick something up to eat. And most of the times eating out, the meal is like probably a thousand calories, like boom. So instead of going out and making those choices, I just make something at home that is actually enjoyable. And yeah. That's where I'm at. So I know a lot of people's meal prep would be like rice, broccoli, boiled chicken. And it's just, I, I know for a fact I wouldn't enjoy that. And unless you are trying to be the leanest person and compete, most of you guys probably don't need to do that either. It's okay to add a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of pizzazz to your meals because there's no point in meal prepping if you have to force feed yourself or if you're not gonna finish your meals during the week. But anyway, that was my long little rant about meal prep. All right, this is the final meal prep. Ground turkey with a bunch of peppers and frozen vegetables. And then we have some mashed potatoes here. And then my mini lasagnas came out the oven. They look a little raggedy, but they taste delish. This is the prep for the week. 
I find that six meals has been perfect for me. I used to prep 10, which was like two meals Monday through Friday, but now just like mostly working from home and doing what I do now, six is the perfect number. I usually can get to like Saturday and I might have one meal left if it even makes it to Saturday because there are some days where maybe I'm just not in the mood for my meals or I decide to have a sandwich for lunch or go out to meet friends for lunch or I'm traveling. So six is the perfect number for me, but you guys prep whatever works for your lifestyle. I got that done really quickly. I think it's only been like an hour and change. The mashed potatoes took the longest. They take forever to boil. That's my meal prep. I'm about to get ready to hit the gym and get a nice little session in. Let's go. Okay, first of all, I did a simple kettlebell workout today. My backside back muscles are like tweaking. It might have been, that was the first time I did those overhead kind of marches. Yep, that was it, because I feel it right here. Ooh, that movement is amazing for the core, because I feel it when I'm doing it. All of this, all of this. When it's cold out before bed, I usually do like a tea or a hot chocolate. EHP Labs just sent me this Oxy Sleep. It's nighttime collagen, hot cocoa flavor. So I'm gonna try that tonight. Why is this not opening? Oh, I actually just ordered the EHP Aqua Collagen. I haven't tried it yet. I want to start adding collagen. I never really consistently took it, but I am on a mission. I have been wearing my natural nails and they are so brittle. Like it's a joke. Like I can't even grow them out to a decent length without them cracking and breaking, it's so annoying. So I know that collagen can help with like nails and hair growth for some people. So I'm curious if I start to take it consistently, will it help me? But let's see what we got. I just warmed up some plant milk in my milk frother. This is the mug that I got in the last vlog. But it would be nice if I read the directions. Eight ounces of milk. I think this is eight ounces. Let's see what we got. Oh, geez. Cheers. <laughs> Get the, this actually tastes just like hot cocoa. Cocoa is the second ingredient. So that, that explains it. Nice. This also has ashwagandha in it, which is lit. Love that for me. No gas. This literally tastes like cocoa. <sighs> but to be honest, I'm about to wash the back of my eyelids. Thank you for being here and decorating my Christmas tree with me. I feel like today wasn't really a super fun day, but it was a good little productive Sunday. But as you hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I'm on a roll. I'm doing really good with my YouTube videos. So I'm trying to get them up weekly. So don't forget to subscribe. Follow me over on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.